the girl a runnin' in our group. She had a high-speedin' motor in a 44 coupe. She had a racing cam and a supercharge. Look at Buddy Hot Rod and Large. She's a hot rod. She's a hot rod. She's my hot rod. Fun. We're having a good time with this show, and I got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Plus, we got to tell you about the big move. But first, I got a car. The guy had been on the car phone. He'd been he'd been waiting a while. Let's go to the car phone. Hey, you're on with the car guy. What's up? Hey, George. It's Tom from Westville. Hey, Tom from Westville. What's up? Well, uh, a couple things I wanted to share with you. Um, one thing I wanted to make a comment about Ford. Um, not selling subcompact, subcompact, and the compact, the smaller cars. Uh, yeah, what I find uh, interesting is I also. I'll, I almost compare it to the housing market where, you know, the housing market where they, you know, they're building $300,000 homes and they're not building a lower income housing. But in my opinion, won't it affect, you know, people that, you know, these SUVs and these bigger vehicles are so expensive now. Well, I got to give you, you I, top, able to afford them. I can answer that only with an opinion. And my opinion is <laughs> Ford has a history of shooting themselves in the foot. They got rid of the Taurus. They got rid of the Escort. They got rid of the Ranger. All top-selling vehicles, top. And guess what? They never got it. They, they finally they brought the now they're bringing the Ranger back, but they brought the Taurus back. It didn't go. The Escort was taken over by the Focus. They're keeping that. They just they don't make any rhyme or reason to me. They never have. Yeah, I love that. So and the other thing I want to share with you is an experience I had with one of my vehicles. Um, and I don't, it didn't, and um, it was a Mazda, my Mazda uh, Tribute, my uh, 2000, uh, 2003, I had an oil leak, and I took it to a place in Michigan City, and being with the letter A, uh, people in Michigan City um, would probably know what I'm talking about, and I took it in for, you know, an estimate, you know, they cut up in the rack, and they wanted to replace my valve cover gasket, my timing cover gasket, my... Um, Oh, uh, you know the oil pan gasket, and I said, "Well, where's you know where's where's the primary leak coming from?" And they said, "Well, we're just, you know since we're going to do the one, they thought it was a timing seal cover gasket." So I said, "I that just didn't sit right with me." So I took it to a place in Portage that um, uh, that I'm familiar with the owner with, um, and. He told me no. He goes, it's very seldom do you have to replace every single gasket like that. He said, you know, we need to get it in here and put uh, engine that the dye in it. Absolutely, that's what we um, do in my shop, Tom. We put dye in it and then we you know, clean it all up and then we pinpoint the leak and fix it. That's how it's yeah. got to be. And so, what it, so what ended up being was after they he got the dye in it for me and uh, they did the uh, it ended up being. They did the front crankshaft seal because that's they, they they felt that's where the majority of the leak was. Yeah, I got. I'm glad they got but, it for you, buddy. Yeah, and I thought you know that was you know I just thought you know I wanted, you know I thought I'd let everybody know that you know you got to watch some of these places because I mean that's just you know take a vehicle like that and they tell you you have to replace all these gaskets. All, the moral of that story it's, is it's always right. get a second opinion, Tommy. Thanks for calling, buddy. Thanks for telling us all about. All right, it. All right buddy. Okay, bye. We're gonna do these recalls real quick, folks. They're real. There's only two of them. The Buick 2018 Regal, the rear outboard seatbelts may not restrain, may not. <laughs> Here again, safety devices we pay for, and you're getting nothing. Hyundai, well, oh, gee, could we go a week without airbags? Hyundai airbags, seatbelt tensioners may be disabled. Pre-tensioners, not the tensioners, the pre-tensioners. Uh, 2011 and 2013, all the way to 2013, Hyundai Sonata and Sonata Hybrid. Guess what? We can't go a week without any kind of recalls on airbags. We come back. I have, I have Mark Hallier from Region Rise in the house. I have Daryl Stone from Cars for Charity in the house. We are going to talk car shows. We're going to talk summer. We're going to make plans. And after the show is over, I may buy these guys a beer. What do you think? What's going on, man? Hey, George. Thanks for having us. I'm glad you guys are back. This has always been a lot of fun. Region Rides is cooking, smoking. That, that magazine is picking up more circulation now than it ever had. It really has. Yeah, actually, I talked to my printer a couple of weeks ago, and the magazine is now being distributed all over uh, Michiana area. So they're gonna. there's another 2,000 magazines being printed and distributed out that you know out east now. There you go, guys. Here we go. And Daryl Stone, Char Char Charities... Ca Cars for charity. 
<clears throat> if I get this right, cars for charities, correct, Daryl? That's right. All right, I got We got to talk about that. I want to hear all about it when we get when we get going here. I want to hear all about the new plate, uh, the the new thing startup, cars for charities, and it's going to be a lot of fun. These guys, <laughs> I don't know if you remember the car shows last year, but when these two <laughs> throw when these two throw a car show, it's generally pretty exciting. It really is. What's the first thing on the agenda, Mark? Well, very first up, we have the Melissa Garcia uh, Memorial Car Show. And I know you're familiar with her. Yeah. She uh, she was an intricate part of the magazine. And uh, she passed away suddenly just a couple of months ago. Too young, too sad. Absolutely. Just, yeah. And one thing about Melissa was we were sitting at her wake a couple of months ago. It was a couple of weeks ago, Daryl, right? 22nd. Yeah. Last month. And... Um, one thing that was the common thread throughout, everybody was getting up and speaking about her and speaking about her life and who she was and what she did. The common thread throughout it was all was that she was a giver. She was constantly giving back, giving back to people, always putting herself first before, before anything else. You know, I hate to say it, but there's something to that saying from that only the good die young, you know? It's so it's true. It's sad. Yeah. It's just, it's flat out sad. She, and very observant girl. She's the girl that wrote, when she wrote the article on me in Region, Region Rides, said I had a face for radio. <laughs> in case you're wondering. <laughs> and she was exactly right. Uh, was, yeah, she's not far off, George. Yeah, she was pretty close. But she was a sweetheart, <clears throat> and her favorite part about writing the stories was getting to know everyone. She says, you know, she, she would call me and say, Mark, I love writing these stories about the car clubs, about the events, just getting to know who these people are and what they're doing and how they're doing it. She loved being a part of the organization. Oh. Um, so when she brought to the table, she says, hey, I have an idea to start, uh, to start an organization. And what we're going to do is we're just going to promote charitable events in the area. If it's a car club, if it's a car show, it's a bike night, whatever it is, I want to help promote it. And so with, with her help, uh, together with Region Rides, and then Daryl stepped in too, and he says, hey, we can do this all together, and we'll call it Cars for Charity. It's not a car club. It's just an organization on Facebook is all it is. And we just take the flyers that we see, and we share them, and that's all, that, all, that's all it is. Um, so when the opportunity came up, she says, hey, I work really closely with the Salvation Army. Can we do a, a Cars for Charity car show? I says, yeah, we could definitely do that. Well, in the meantime, she passed away. And wow. so instead of calling it the Cars for Charity Car Show, we called it the Melissa Garcia Memorial Car Show. But it's for the Salvation Army. All the proceeds of the car show are going to go back to the Salvation Army because she was a member of the Salvation Army. Uh, she loved being a part of that organization. And we have gotten so, many, so much feedback now from that because everyone says, wow, she was such a giving person. We want to be a part of it. And it's really starting to pick up. Well, I know Daryl, you got to have your fing- you got to have your fingers in this thing. You got to be judging it, probably. You know what? I'm hoping not to have to judge. <clears throat> you don't want to have to judge. If I do, if I need it, I will. But I, there's a lot of other things I'll probably be needing to do. And you got enough people with you there, you know, that can do the judging, or they got to, you know. Yeah, there's going to be there's going to be more than enough people there that can help out judging and uh, just kind of looking over everything. And how many cars are you expecting at this one? Weather permitting, of course, but weather it, permitting it should be nice by then. If you look at the predictions, it's finally going to get warm here next week. Yeah. Uh, right. We have, well, right now we have uh, goodie bags and uh, trophies. There's going to be 60? Trophies? Yeah, so we have 60 trophies, right? No. No, it says here. 30. 30 more trophies. Than, more than 30. Yeah, more, yeah 30 <clears> trophies. <throat> That's a uh, lot of categories, Mark. A lot of... You know what you said? I was going to say 60. <laughs> oh, my God. Was this the Olympics? Woo. So we, yeah. So there's going to be 30 trophies, um, but we're hoping we're hoping to be able to fill their parking lot, and we would love to. We'd, I hate to say it, but we'd love to be able to turn people away for the show because oh. if we are if we're able to fill that parking lot and then have to start turning people away, it would uh, it would really kind of. I, I think Melissa would be looking down and really put a smile on her face over it. Oh, absolutely! That 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 car show you ran last year, Daryl, with for the for Wake a Wish. My God, that place was jammed. They were parking in the boonies. We we had a little over a hundred cars. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. Well, you know, like I said, when these guys throw a car show, it's generally it's generally heave ho. It go go go. We do our best. Now, how did this come about? This uh, cars for charity. You and several other people just decided that it was time to get together and do this thing for, as a, on a charitable basis rather than a money making basis. 
It's right. always been that way for us. Yeah, it's, yeah. We didn't care about the money. Uh, it all started with doing a food drive last year. Mark had wanted to do a food drive. Melissa wanted to do a food drive. Melissa wanted to do it for the Salvation Army. So then the Cars for Charity Facebook page started just so that we could share flyers for that. And Mark gave us two uh, feature write-ups in the magazine to give away through that food drive. Yeah. And throughout Christmas and Thanksgiving, we fed over 50 families. Wow. Well, I, I definitely are gonna, I was going to put it on the Car Guy pages because well, between the two Car Guy pages, i got like 3,000 people. That'd be great, George. <laughs> I, I contact them. Holy crap. I don't know where they all come from. Some of them are anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> some of them, some of them, you never know. Anyway, this uh, cars for charity is a group of people. How many guys do you figure are wives and gals? You have you have husbands and wives and everybody involved in this, correct? That's right. Yeah, we have lots of people. Um, I think the page is up over a hundred now of members that are on the page and share our events and. Oh, that's cool. One hundred eighty three members. One hundred eighty three. That's absolutely great. And you guys also are looking forward to the Muscle Show coming up, too. The American Muscle Car Truck and Bike Show. It's our third one yet. That's in Cedar Lake? It's going to be in Cedar Lake again. At, at the Town Grounds? Town Grounds, July 14th. Well, I'll uh, be ready for it this year with my new scooter. It's got big power. I can ride up and down the hills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are We're adding a lot more to it this year. There's going to be a lot more categories. Um, the uh, uh, and Northwest Indiana Slackers Car Club, they're helping out. Uh, with uh, you know parking everyone and making sure everything runs smooth. Uh, once again, all the all the uh, proceeds of the show are going to Operation Combat Bike Saver in Cedar Lake. Uh, we love working with those guys, and uh, that's a great they're great, great organization. organization yes. And uh, they're just um, they're a great group of people. And what the the organization that they're doing and what they're doing for our vets, you know, we, you you can't beat that. Oh, absolutely not. Uh, they were featured on that Mike Rowe show. They were. On the television. I mean, my goodness, that's something hot. I think it was Mike Rowe's second episode of the Returning the Favor on Facebook. Well, I got to tell you, I've been in contact back and forth with the Jay Leno show on Facebook. He's one of my, on Twitter. Oh, yeah? He's one of my pals. And I'm thinking we're going to get something going here one of these days when he comes out to do the show and at the boats and, and Gary. We're going to see what happens. We can get a car show around there. We might get Jay Leno to come out and... I think we should judge. get him on the radio. What do you say? Well, I'm going to try. He's going to try calling me one of these days. Okay. It's, it's a, it, now that we're going to go to Wednesday evening, it might be better. Okay. Because it's 8 o'clock in the morning out there. Right. And I'm sure he's not up. <laughs> I'm positive he's not up. I mean, he's used to being up till 3 in the morning doing his shows. So, And that show is up. If you ever watch that show on Twitter, it is fantastic. Jay oh, yeah. Show. Oh, yeah. He's got some cool stuff. He was out riding around in the Bullet Mustang. From yep. the movie Bullet just last time. Was it that original one that they just found? Yep, that okay. was the original one they found in a barn somewhere. Yep. Unbelievable. I'm going to have to start traveling around the country looking in barns. That's a great story, too, of that bu that uh, Bullet Mustang. I think it was the guy's mother who actually owned it. Right. And uh, that's why he doesn't want, he doesn't want to sell it now. Yeah. Because yeah, he says, hey, that's my, that's my mom's car. She used to drive it to work. God, these car shows bring out the best of me. I'm telling you, I just love going to them. Well, our cruise nights in Lansing are going to fire up here pretty soon. Yep. And there'll be cruise nights firing up in Crown Point. Thursday nights, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's got to be starting real soon. That's you going to be out there, Daryl, with your hot rod? I'll try to get out there. Yeah. It, it starts, the time I get home from work and can get back there, it's usually pretty late. So uh, I, I'll make some. Well, have the, have the wife drive it out. Yeah, she don't drive it. Yeah, she won't, huh? No, she don't like it. <laughs> uh, full disclosure, Daryl's wife... Uh, Mrs. Stone is gemstone. We call her gemstone because be married to Daryl. She has to be a gem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and she's a sweetheart, yeah. But she won't drive the hot rod. I don't believe that. Yeah, put her in there. It's like swimming. Throw her in a lake. You know, yeah. Put her in the hot rod. Say, go. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, she's got me building one for her now. Oh, well, there you go. She wants her own. She'll have her own. There you go. Now you don't have to worry about her driving yours. <laughs> they got a nice little his and hers set. His and hers set. That'll be cute. Salt and pepper, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hot rods. <laughs> That'll be pretty special. We'll be back in just a minute with Daryl and, and Mark. These are these are the days. The sun, look outside. The sun's out. And a young man's fancy turns to RPMs. Not, not love. RPMs. <laughs>